Hello, buddy. My name is Invicta. Welcome back to Balatro here on the channel. Today, we're going to be continuing our quest for our very first E. I don't know how it's going to go. I don't know if we're going to make it. I don't know if uh, it's going to happen or not, but I'm going to keep going with the yellow deck. I think starting with an extra 10 bucks is very good to, for this quest here. I'm not going to be resetting anything in this video. We're just going to be hopping on into it and uh, just looking for our first E. That's that's all I want. That's, that's all, I, that's all I, I request. Right now, it's the biggest, it's the biggest like stumbling block for me. I want to get as many chips as possible. This first uh, hand is not great here with two pair, but I want to say thank you everyone for all the support on the Balatro series. I really do appreciate it. I know that, uh, you know, the, we, we did have our first billion yesterday, which I was pretty happy about. And uh, I'm looking to build on that from there. Um, but in order for us to get there, we got to get a we got to get a hot start. This is this is not a hot start. We almost we almost died on the first blind. So let's let's hopefully turn this one around here. But I do like the yellow deck for for trying all this stuff because it gives you, in my opinion, the best starting bonuses that you can get. Um, you can immediately buy stuff in the first shop without having to worry about it, especially since we're playing on low stake or literally the white stake. Um, yeah. So we have a we have an emperor card. Hermit card is going to double our money, which I'm definitely going to be doing right now. We got 32 bucks. Go for the Celestial Pack. I don't know what we're playing. I like high card decks. High card seems to be the way to go if you're looking to really break the score. And uh, yeah, even Steven's fine. Blue Joker's probably fine for the early game here. Um, or we can take Director's Cut to reroll the boss bounty. Boss blind, we should probably do that. And I'm going to wait on Blue Joker. Good. So even Steven's going to give us a plus four multi every single time we play a 10, 8, 8, 10, 8 6, 4, or 2. Um, we could get another voucher in the next shop, which mm, might be beneficial, but I feel like going back to the, the, the early days of Balatro for me, um, having a, having sort of like a bright eyed and bushy tailed response to the game where I didn't really know, I, I didn't even know what skipping the blinds was. It made for a better experience because unknowingly I was like, I was like, Oh, this car, this game's all about the jokers. And I think that the that the Jokers really do play a huge, huge, huge role in the early stages of any given run. Obviously, I mean, of course they are. But if you skip a lot of shops, you're losing out on possibly getting a bunch of, of very helpful Jokers. And that's where I get in. That's where it's problematic for me because I'm like, I'm so tempted by by skipping the blinds. And then you realize like, oh, wait, I probably shouldn't do that because we're not getting Jokers unless you, of course, skipping for a Mega Buffoon pack. But then yeah, that's something else entirely. Um, let's go ahead and make a king. Make a king. So we can re-roll, but I don't think I'm going to do that. All clubs are going to be debuffed. That's fine. We should be fine by just playing evens here. And uh, yeah, even with a even with a a full a full house and one of the eights being debuffed, this should be good enough with the even Steve and Joker to push us over easily. A little bit of plus multi gets you a long way. Get a lover's card. I do like the lover's card to make a, a wild card here. Overstock gives us one available card slot in the shop. I like that as well. It gives us an extra joker to pick from. And uh, Stuntman. I mean, I've never used Stuntman before, but I'm going to try it out. It is going to give us a minus two hand size, though. But if we were playing a high card deck, that's usually not that big of a deal. Um, we can create a glass ace if I really wanted to. Let's make a wild ace. And that's a uh, stone card. Wouldn't be bad either, but give me a glass ace. Don't know if we'll ever use it or not, but we'll find out. So doubles our money. I almost always, always skip for uh, spectral packs. And then of course we have the psychic, which means we're going to have to play five hand, five uh, cards in our hand instead of, uh, well, instead of not. The high card's worth 75 at the base value versus 20 at the pair base value. So obviously we're going to be going for that. But ob uh, again, obviously, obviously with Stuntman, we're going to absolutely crush this one. Um, so we can try to go for a flush. It doesn't honestly really matter. Yeah, none of this matter. I think that I th honestly think that we're out with just an ace. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, plus 300 chips is a lot. And look at this, we get DNA here. Unfortunately, we cannot take it. So we either have to sell Stuntman or sell, sell even Steven. Uh, uh, eh, okay, I'm gonna get rid of even Steven. I can't not have DNA here. Um, I might have been able to, I actually might have been able to keep even Steven. 
we had five, three, two, seven. No, we still would have had to sell anyway. That's fine. We're going to skip for the ethereal tag here. We get uh, ectoplasm and uh, medium. So ectoplasm reduces our hand size even more. Um, or add a purple seal. I'm going to add a purple seal to a deuce. We've already reduced our hand size by two. So, I mean, we can we can create another another purple seal or i don't think i don't think we're gonna go out but actually no we can't uh we can't do that because the psychic the psychic is going to uh, force us to uh to play five get a death card look at that uh we should try to get that glass ace to be honest we got a wild ace and that's honestly fine with me let's create I'm going to create another ace. There's no way that we can get away with just with just cloning it. Yeah, because it's going to make us play a pair anyway. The psychic is basically the anti DNA here, which really sucks. So let's get rid of one of those and just do that. And then we just play high card here. So we lose out on DNA for one turn. Not the greatest, but get plus one discard. Unfortunately, we can't afford it right now. Madness is kind of eh. Let's see. We can make it. We can make it the queen. This isn't really a very good. I mean, we get seven bucks here. If we get seven bucks. We can actually buy a. We can actually buy wasteful. So it's plus one discard. We'll definitely take that. Negative base value. I think we really need to try to use DNA here. I mean, what's the point of having DNA if we're not going to use it? Okay. So I'm gonna play the. I'm gonna play the deuce just to clone it. I'm gonna play the ace. Wild Ace. There we go. Not really gaining a lot of money, though. That's kind of a big issue here. Pluto gives us high card. Definitely want that. We're gonna need. We're gonna need to keep scaling, though, if we want to keep that up. We're gonna discard the Deuce. Okay, so now now we've got something cooking here because now we can start duplicating ace the glass ace, and if we can continue, if, as long as they don't shatter, if we can continue to dupe it, then we got something really cooking, and of course it breaks immediately. Also, I didn't dupe it because it has to be the only card you play. So, pretty happy about that. Okay, so we're gonna have to discard here. Even though we have a straight, there's no no reason to play it right now. I don't mind hallucination. I mean, we can make a wild king, I guess. So we can dupe. We still do have a glass ace. And we should try to draw for that. wild card okay we didn't get it we can make another wild ace here this is gonna this is gonna debuff it but it doesn't really matter 
Um, let's play this, dupe that. Okay. Then, yeah, I think high card's not, it's literally not going to matter. I mean, we lose out a little bit on the chips. Playing these other cards too. <laughs> okay. Just a warm up game. We double our money here. Take a couple of jacks, or we could remove. Give me, give me money. Then. We could play a devil card too. Let's go. I like that. Let's go for a devil card. We 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 really suffer from from lack of economy on that first run. So we double our money again. All right. All we gotta do is smash this blind, and then we can get a real strong roll here. Gonna go for the flush if we can. There we go. Almost got a straight flush. A two pair. I mean, we're going to have to go for a boat here. If we're going to play the three. There we go. And we still get to maintain the, the three of of uh, the gold threes. It wasn't enough, apparently. That should be enough, though. Okay. No problem. Who was worried? Not me. All right, we got 69 bucks. Telescope Celestial Packs always contain the plant that you played the most poker hand with. And let's see, we got Odd Todd here. No old dang old shoot the moon, man. Old dang old dang old. I like shoot the moon. I'll, I'll take Odd Todd because we can play queens and aces. We got a boat, a pair, straight flush. I mean, the boat is what we what we've been playing. Um, none of these are particularly all that exciting to me. We could go. I mean, we could buff up boats. Suppose. Is two player, two pair Pluto with high card. Give me a roll, a, a cheeky roll. Cardomancer is going to give us a free uh, tarot card. Mystic Summit, eh? Okay. Wild card, absolutely. Could go for a boat. We just need a jack or a nine or an ace. There we go. That should easily get us there. So shoot the moon is going to is going to make it to where we can keep if we keep a queen in our hand, it's going to give us a plus thirteen multi. Obelisk is off of bad. Scary face, I mean it's it's foil, but Make another another queen and a jack, I suppose. It's probably the smartest thing to do is shoot the moon for now. Be a lucky ten. One reroll, sun card, regular scary face. A full card. I mean we can create two more jacks or two more queens immediately. I'm definitely down for that. This is not a this is not an odd Todd play here, but I just want to see if a we can get the prox. And we can play both of them. Let's see what this does. Nothing. I do like hanging. I mean, hanging Chad is like he gets me in trouble a lot. But I do like having it. Oh, oh, oh. Maybe a red seal ace. Now, just now is when we need DNA. 
Give me a flush. I'm gonna save the reroll here. First hand is drawn face down. Get a devil card. And we played two, we played a full boat with all of our queens, basically. I'm pretty happy about that. And yeah, that was all of our queens. Yeah, we have one queen. We, had, we don't know officially how many jacks or sixes we have left for another boat. We do have a flush, though. I don't think this is going to get us out, though. Might. I'm going to hold on to the devil card because I don't think this is going to be enough, but... Oh, yeah, it will be. With the queen, definitely. Okay. Oh, we have a devil card on deck that we can use for, uh, for some income here. You can buy to the moon for now. Steel King's pretty good. Another queen is not bad either. The thing about shoot the moon is that it only, it doesn't scale towards, it doesn't scale towards the end game. A steel King, however, especially if we get the Baron would be absolutely massive. Got another ace, a wild purple seal ace at that too. Got a death card, okay. Get rid of those. Yeah, we we absolutely death card another steel king. I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope that we get a. If we can get the Baron, that would be absolutely massive. Got another king here, but not gonna play. I don't know if this is gonna get us out. Let's make a let's make a six just in case. Might get us out. Yeah, it does. Okay. Good. Fibonacci's Fibonacci with with the ace that we have is pretty amazing. We can get hone now or just wait. Yeah, I mean, I guess there's no reason not to get it. We can start making steel queens, which would help us out with shoot the moon. Which is probably the right idea. Because we're gonna hold queens, we might as well let them let them multiply their own multis too. The king. I think Fib has to go in there. We have Fib. Come on, twenty bucks. I could discard this, but I'm I'm playing the high card just so we can maybe get the twenty dollar proc. There is the ace. Need queens though. I mean, I'm like I like these kings. Don't get me wrong, but like we need we need king we need queens though. We could probably get out honestly on this boat. Yeah. Oh baby, you love to see it. You love to see it. Okay. So. I'm gonna get rid of Odd Todd. To the Moon is 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 keeping us funded right now. I'm gonna grab the Baron.
We we, ha we have to double. We we can't do anything else but double here. Take a peek at the buffoon pack. Okay, this is good. The tooth is gonna take a little bit of money from us, but I like where this is heading. We need our kings and queens here, mainly kings. That's quad aces. That should absolutely go over with uh, fib. Even yeah, I mean this this should be fine. Then hanging Chad's gonna proc. Oh baby. Money there, we get a mega buffoon pack. I'm gonna buy magic trick to maybe get some more kings and queens. Now, I mean, kings are, are now are, are, are what we want. Mega buffoon back was mega bad. Can't really do much here. We can add multi, I guess, to the ace. Or make another gold card. Make another gold card. Why not? We need to get, we need to get some hand size, though. Flint is horrible, but I think with our multipliers, we should be okay. Lots of kings. Lots of kings and queens. Um, yeah, I think we just go out here. We need to get some high card, though, dang it. Spectral pack. Another, another queen. We could double our money, but let's use the chariot. Let's get a steel queen. Let's see what the spectral pack gives us. Gold seal or purple seal? Yes, give me a gold seal. The mail-in rebate. It's times one and a half multi. Currently capped at five dollars, no matter what. This gives us three dollars when we discard whatever whatever we need to discard. So we'll say we'll say that for now. Not the best use of our of our resources there, but and just imagine, just imagine if we had scaling right now with our high cards. Vagabond plus 10 multi is not bad, but it's not what we need here. You know we're going to start getting Plutos in our Celestial Packs because we have a Telescope. Get Death Card. We can make a... We can make an Ace. Yeah, so let's... Let's get 15 bucks. Man, it's really tempting to put a Multi on this Ace here. Let's do that. I can't use it on the wild card because it would take the wild card status away. But don't use it anyway. So we've removed the wild card status there because we can always just discard that. And then we can turn that. We can copy that. Get another red seal ace. It feels like the better option. We have the Flint coming up, which is going to suck. But if we get our, if we get all the draws that we need, we should be able to brute force it. 
I'm gonna discard the purple seal ace just so we can get a, a tarot card. Hope that we get a death card. Empress actually works. We can get rid of more. We're gonna get rid of another wild ace, but that actually helps us out. And we did we did draw a queen. Good. So we're only at a base level of three here, but let's see what this does with that plus multi we added. Oh yeah. Okay. Still kicking. Okay, Reroll the boss blind. I mean, the one that we really cannot get is the plant. That is the one that we absolutely, it's imperative that we reroll that one. High Priestess. That's the only one we can really use. Get Pluto, okay. Let's just go ahead and use that. Another queen is good. It's a lucky queen. We're not, again, I'm not really trying to play into shoot the moon here. Um, it just happens to work out this way. That's fine. Play the pair just to see if we can. This is a soft discard for us. Hey, we got 20 multi. Okay, I, was, I mean, that was 6k. Like, I'm I'm totally fine with that. Strength card. We can actually make more kings here. We should actually turn the, the steel... A steel queen, we should turn into a steel king. That's about to go ham. Oh my gosh, look at the kings. What is just playing a singular three going to do? Counts as fib, so... Okay, okay. You know, we got... We got something going here. I don't know if it's good. But it's starting to feel like something's cooking. I just hope it's not too It's not too late. Um, we owe me? Hey! 50 chips. We got a foil shoot the moon. I'll take it. Very nice. Um... I mean, we can get a glass seven, I guess. And we cannot do repeat hands, so that's going to be bad, but I think we'll be okay. okay. So we have our gold seal ace. We can get some pretty good money with that. I'm going to discard an ace just so mail and rebate goes away. Play, let's play the gold seal first because I want to get that money. Okay, and then that, and we we got another we got another four, so that's fine too. There we go. If this was plus hand size, I would. Totally get rid of mail and rebate. Pool card. The Wheel of Fortune card. Sure. Feel me? Definitely going for Pluto. Got to keep up that scaling with high card. I think now is time a good time to roll. This is the Glass Joker. For every glass for every glass card that's destroyed. That would be interesting, but I don't think this is the I don't think this is the play here for this. I I I'll discover that at another time right now. We're we're looking I don't think we're locked in yet, but like I feel like right now is not the time. Lots of queens. We need to be going for kings, though. Yeah, we got our red. We got our red seal ace, which is good. Yeah, we only we only got two kings here, so we need to make. If we're gonna play high card, we got it's it's got to be high. 
So I don't know if this is going to go out or not. I also don't know if these, if I move these queens, I'm not sure if they'll be, they're going to factor into when Shoot the Moon goes off. Let's see. They do. Okay. The queens need to make sure that they go, that they go ahead of the kings. I did not know that. There we go. We got cheaper rerolls. Good. the king absolutely go for Pluto here all spade cards debuff we don't care about that okay, so they so the so mail and rebate wants fours we'll give them all the fours at once This is three dollars, and we don't have to keep it in our hands. So, okay. got another gold six, so that's another three bucks we can cash in. feels like we're it feels like we're one one joker away if we can get sock and buskin or um mime that's what we're really looking at to make big time play we can level up high card again double our money here I feel like leveling up is good, but we're about to have a celestial pack though. Money, money allows us to, to keep rolling stuff. So I'm just, I'm just gonna do that. Let's just do that. This better not be a wraith. I'm gonna be real sad. Enhanced aces. Of course, it took the king. The one, the one card we didn't want it to take. Of course, got it back. So screw you, game. Ooh. Plus five hand size is huge for this. Where are we? Our an anti six. Plus five hand size is absolutely massive for what this build is trying to do. But we have no glass aces and we have no... I'm gonna sell, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna try it out. So we can double our money. And that leaves us to that leaves us to have the plus five hand size for boss. So let's do that. You're gonna get us a lot of money. We gotta get 40k though, so and all spade cards are debuffed. But we need to load up our hands with with kings and queens that aren't the king of spades. Of course, our, our red seal ace is debuffed. Okay. I don't think this is going to be enough to get us out, but it's going to be a lot. Put the queens in front, except for the steel, steel queen. I guess it doesn't really matter. But let's put her before the king. Let's see what that does to the score. Let's just see. Okay, no, she definitely needs to go at the end. But one shot the goad. Get to the turtle bean. This one hand size is huge. Flash is not bad either, but. Hmm. 
Give me more chariot cards. You make more kings and another queen. Need more chariot cards. Do not chariot card game. In fact, none of these are useful at all. At all. Like none of them. against the wall. That was our money again. We're going to need the plus hand size against the wall. There it is. There it is. Oh, baby. Okay. I think we get rid of Fibonacci for mime. Well, first we get to pick two, so let's let's sell one first, so we get a little bit of money. Then we take it. Okay. Remember, we're not necessarily going for a win here. We're trying to get our score pumped up. Something crazy. So this is probably the highest that this that this is going to go here. And let's just see what happens here. Let me get rid of these. And uh yeah, let's just see what this does. Okay. Definitely need a lot more scaling if we're gonna if we're gonna get to E here, but we have the foundations for something good. Reroll glute or glut. We got lots of money now, which is good. None of these matter, so I'm just going to do that. Hey, nice. Pluto. Just sell that. Steel Ace. Yeah, I guess. One dollar rerolls. I'm I'm down with that, brother. Carry card absolutely freaking lootly. And another king. Slow our, slow our rules. Negative Joker is what we want. Cerulean Bell is annoying. We can re-roll it. It forces one card to always be selected. I don't think it's going to matter with our current build. It's better than having our one of the Joker, Jokers disabled. So we get another tarot card. Temperance. Nice, easy 14 bucks right there. We got our steel ace. Good. Uh, let's make another steel king. I do want to play the ace of spades in case we get 20 bucks. Even though potentially it's not going to be the biggest hand, or the biggest scorer, this could pay off here with hanging Chad. All these over here. Let's see what this does. Give me 20 bucks. No. Okay, so we have plus two hand size here for Turtle Bean. It's uh, awful. 
truly awful. This is not a hand that we can afford to, uh, to skip or to lose discards on. I'm going to get another chariot card so we can turn another Steel King. Bye, Magician. You want Blueprint or Brainstorm at this point? Seltzer's pretty good here. Okay, we don't need Hanging Chat anymore. Okay. Fine, we can discard this. Let's make... Well, we have, let's wait until we get... It's going to pick a king, and then, that, then we'll use the chariot card. We don't need the gold ace. There we go. Looks on you, game. We can do that. That, that. Then play the ace, which is going to count as a high card. We still gain the benefits of these kings here. Seltzer's going to make this go nuts. So, yes, we lose a Steel King here on this play, but it's still with the plus two hand size and everything. This, this is going to be... This is not going to be huge, but it's going to be a start. It might get us out here, especially if the ace goes nuts. It did not go nuts. It did, in fact, not go nuts. Another one of our Steel Kings, of course. Uh, do that. Let's see what this does. Also, I forgot that re that Seltzer is just re-triggering the cards played, not the cards in hand. So, here we go. Okay. So nothing crazy yet. Okay, so we pretty much have to get rid of Turtle Bean now. We can use the Hieroglyph and go again, but it's minus one hand. I'm gonna get rid of Turtle Bean because it's it just it literally disappears after this round. It would have been a lot higher if we got if we got some kind of uh if we got some if we had more levels on our on our high card, we definitely would be be flying high. Much higher. One dollar reroll, I'm not gonna pass that up. Marble Joker. I mean, it's a multi. So I guess. Yeah, we have pillar. really turn this this ace of spades into a lucky it's going to remove the plus multi but the the upside is potentially huge here okay i mean <laughs> sure wait there we go no twenty dollars It gives a lot of money thanks to Mime, though. Mime is low-key, like, one of the best in the game. Udo up to level 10 on the high card now. We're looking good. I mean, Glass Queen 
is definitely interesting, but I mean, it's more kings, man. I'm tempted to use Hieroglyph, but I don't like the minus hand. Steel Joker is a two and a half times multi. I'm going to get rid of Seltzer because it's really not doing anything for us. So we'll go for the Steel Joker. It's holographic and gives two and a half multi, so that's pretty good. We get a Polychrome Joker next, next turn. card. We really don't need more stone cards. This should still go... I don't know if this is going to one-shot it. I'm just... I'm tempted to, to play the, the gold seal just because I want to get the money, but this could also give us 20 bucks here. Let's see what it does with the steel joker. Okay. Six million. Oops, all sixes doesn't really do anything for us here. What is that? Joker gains 25 chips for each stone card in your deck. Huh. That would be neat with the, the marble Joker, but we just don't have anything... And Mr. Bones, which... Seeing double would be nice, but we have a lot of red... A lot of red Steel Kings, so... Now the question is, do we... Do we go up against the pillar... We only I think we've only played two cards this entire this entire ante, so there's one of them. And get rid of the Red Seal Ace. I'm just gonna play these two. I'm trying, I know it's it's not the best idea, but I'm trying to, I'm trying to hold some of the gold cards for money here. The 50 chips from the stone card is actually gonna help out quite a bit. There we go. Nice, I like, I like this economy. Anti-11 is where our dreams come crashing down though. This one consumable slot would be nice if we end up having observatory. Gotta get our Pluto in. Level 11 high card. Yeah, this doesn't matter. Plus is level four. We'll probably never use it. We just need blueprint. Blueprint or brainstorm this. Then we're, we're poised to go nuts. But it didn't happen. I'm gonna save, the, save it on the pack here. We have the arm, of course. So we need a one shot. We need a one shot the arm, essentially. The stone cards are becoming a little bit too much. I'm gonna get rid of the stone card. Get rid of the multi ace. And honestly, I'm starting to think that that shoot the moon is not worth. We should like we shouldn't be prioritizing queens over kings right now. Again, I'm going to try to get 20 bucks here from the lucky ace. Let's see what that does. Got the 20 multi, but we didn't get 20 bucks. Yeah, that was 1 million without any queens. 
Hangman. I mean, we can use it. Got to keep up with the scaling here. Especially since we know we're going to lose at least one level against the arm. Okay. 35 bucks. Wow. We drew... We drew no kings or aces. Oh, if there's ever been a good time to use the hangman card, I guess it's now. We don't need basic aces. I don't think this I don't think this is anywhere near us going out here. even close need more kings is what we need we need this hand to go off Scary. First priority, leveling up Pluto. Another chariot card would be nice. Full card. You turn this into a king. Honestly, I think leveling up... I think leveling up Pluto is better here. Just looking for just we I mean all we need is blueprint or brainstorm. That's all we need. Okay, so we gotta prepare here for arm. We know we we need to go out in one here. No, we need we need to just we need to throw hard for kings. Got our glass seven. I think we lead with the ace of spades. The lucky ace. Let's see what this does. No, we're not going to one shot it. Got another king, that's good. The red seal the red seal should definitely do it here. So we're going to lose two levels on high card. I think this is where this run ends, but it was a good run, though. Retcon. I don't. I honestly don't think it's gonna matter. Get another king here. Or make a glass ace. Let's make, let's make a glass ace. Uh, we can make another. Another steel queen wouldn't be terrible. Yeah, that's depressing. Yeah, this is this is definitely where it ends. But I'm so happy with the way it, it was, you know, for not having the best the best setup for this. We ended up turning it into a, a pretty a pretty damn good run. Sometimes that's all you can really ask for in Balatro. I'll take it.
I'll definitely take it. So there's no way we get past this at all. <laughs> there's just a zero percent chance. And unfortunately we can't discard anything. So we're 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 basically locked in with aces here. Um, unless we decide to play five of a kind, I suppose. Um But sure, why not? Why not, you know? Have some fun with it. I also forgot to move the queen over on this side, but oh well. High card. Let's do that. Here are the 10-2. I mean, who knows? Maybe we'll get lucky and get, like, a huge multi. We didn't. We needed more hand size. We needed we needed a lot more of everything on this on this run here. But like I said, it was a it was a valiant effort for what we had. It wasn't the it wasn't the world's like most perfect build or anything. Um But like I said, I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with how it how it turned out. But yeah, the quest for the E continues. And thank you for watching, everyone. Again, thank you for the support on the Balatro series here on YouTube. I really do appreciate it. Oh, we did get it. We, we did get past this blind, which is surprising. Uh, but we're not going, we're, we're not getting past the boss. <laughs> that one was just barely, barely. That's only because we just do a whole butt ton of kings. But we're just, we're just not getting the jokers. Polychrome. I'm going to get rid of Marble Joker just because I don't want it to give me any more stone cards. There we go. Mega Arcana Pack. Sure, give me a Mega Arcana Pack. Why not? Uh, we can use the Hangman, I guess. Hangman and give me give me give me some money. And okay, now is when it goes off. Get rid of I mean we do have a glass ace, which is good, but that's it's not going to matter. Let's not get delusional here. Uh we need some kings, please. Oh, they're all, all debuffed. Try to get our non debuffed kings here. Get rid of our ace too, but no real no real point in doing that. Apparently all the kings have gone away. So thanks for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you click the like button, leave a comment down below. I'd love to see these Valtro videos get over 1,000 likes. And as always, I'll see you all next time. Until then, so long, everybody.